Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. It is a beautiful day here. The sun is shining. There is no wind at all. Crazy cat. No wind at all. And I'm going to go out and do my end of year measuring and protecting of the burr oak trees. So what I have in my kit here, I was going to bring this along and this along, but I don't have the right length ties for these. I'm going to see if I can get these on. I might have to open these up a little bit. Only a few trees need protection. I'm going to protect the furthest one that way because of all the evergreens right there. That's a good place for rabbits to live in the winter, and I'm afraid they're going to come out and chew the bark. I've already had trees that were girdled by rabbits in the winter, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. There's another tree that way that gets a lot of deer damage. I'm gonna try protecting, oh, I already did protect that one. I have a cover on that one. And then there's the chestnut tree that's down at the end of the road. That is the one that the rabbits girdled. That was at the very beginning of my channel and I have a video on that, I'll show it to you. You could see how much the tree has grown. It was just tiny little sprouts that re-sprouted after they girdled it. I cut off a bunch of stuff and now the tree, I think it's six, seven feet tall. Okay, so I believe I have what I need. Let's get up to that first tree up there. Okay, I already got the dimensions on this tree. It is 96 inches tall. It's 2.4 inches at a foot off the ground and 1.93 at two feet. I believe that's a good deal bigger than last year. And I cut out, I did a little pruning on this. It's kind of hard to see where that is. Maybe it's, I thought it was right in here, but I don't see any, oh, I believe it was possibly right here, but I don't see much scarring at all from that. This is a beautiful tree. I don't think I need to do any pruning this year. I mean, you don't want crossing branches that go into the tree, but at some point you really can't get rid of all those. If any of them become a problem, I'll take them out next year, but this year it looks okay. You know, I would probably take this one out if I was pruning like an apple tree, but I think I'll leave it in. Okay. So far, so good. Let's get on to the next tree. I forgot to show this. I got my tree protector on. Knocked off a little bit of this loose flaky bark, but that'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna take some zip ties and tighten this up like that. And next year I'll come through and I'll just cut this off. The only reason I have a protector on is because of that. I don't think I'll put a protector on next year. I think this will be the last year for this one. All right, let's get to that tree. Okay, tree number two, 72 inches tall. The first one was eight feet. The second one was six feet, exactly. That's pretty interesting. And 1.32 at one foot, 1.1 at two feet. This one was about half the size of the first one last year, and it's still right in that neighborhood. Again, I don't think I'm going to prune anything off of this. This has a real nice shape. All right, that one does not have a real nice shape, and I think I'm going to be pruning that one. Let's go get the measurements first. Tree number three here. When I first planted this, I believe it was just like a stick that went on an angle and it only had leaves up here on the top. This top part has not changed since I planted this. It's been about like this the whole time. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut it off right here and let it grow this as the new top. I'm not sure what else to do with this, but this definitely is not doing anything out here. So I would either cut it here 
or possibly even cut it here. This looks like some nice, fairly robust growth here. Yeah, and we got crossing branches down here. This and this don't need to be together. Okay, I think I'm going to cut that too. Yeah, I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to take out this lower branch here. Okay, that'll do it. Now let's get some measurements. Okay, the new height on this is 43 inches, and that's to right here. I'm not sure what the height was last year. I had to stand it up to get the height. I'll flash the height on screen. But where is my... Here are the statistics for this one. Number three is 43 inches tall to right here. 1.2 inches at a foot and 0.8 inches up here at two feet. This one is a real slow grower, but now it has a pretty good shape to it. Yeah, I like that shape. All right. Oh, and I got to spray this one. The deer come through right through here. You can see all the deer prints. Sometimes they'll come through here. Sometimes they'll go through over there. So this tree and the next two all need to get sprayed with deer repellent. For the most part, I'm just spraying the tips because that's all they want. They'll come and bite these little tips off because that's the only place it's tender. You'd see something bit it off right there and right there. Eventually, that won't matter at all once the tree gets a little bigger. All right, on to the next tree. That tree needs some major pruning. Okay, this is the sickliest of all of the trees. I thought this was dead, and it made a comeback the first year. And you could see where it was pruned right there, but this was pruned down to the ground, and I believe it was about 14 inches tall after that pruning last year. Let me take a look at my notes here. Yeah, it was a half inch at the base and 14 inches tall. We'll get new measurements in a little bit. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out completely and this out completely, and this will be our tree right here. And I will spray the heck out of this because that's the deer run right there. Okay, now this is going to be a really nice tree. Next year, it's not going to put any effort into growing all that weird stuff down there. It's just going to put all of its effort into growing this nice little tree that we have here. It is 42 inches tall, which is only an inch shorter than, well, I pruned that one, but that's pretty good. 42 inches, it's 0.7 down, way down here. I just measured it the same place as I did last year, because this is too small to get a normal measurement. And then two feet is right here, and that is 0.39. All right, I'm gonna spritz this one, and then we'll move on to the next. On this one, I am spritzing it a good deal more than the other one because any deer damage on this one is going to be really bad. You don't really have to worry about rabbits out in the open like this. An owl or a hawk or something would get them. So they're not going to come out here. Okay, I believe this is number five. And 
This is a real beautiful specimen. Let me see. Yep, this is number five. And all I have on number five is the dimensions from last year. And this one was 50 inches tall. We'll see what it is this year. Okay, this one was 66 inches, which I believe is 16 inches bigger than last year. I'll put the numbers on the screen, but it's nearly twice the diameter it was last year as well. It is 1.62 at a foot and 1.3 up here at two feet. This tree has a really nice shape. I'm not going to do any pruning on it. Again, if it needs pruning next year, I'll do that. But so far, it looks really good. Okay, this one is another big problem tree. Uh, before I forget, this one is right on the deer run, so spray all the tips. I don't see any signs of damage. As the trees get older, they don't mess with them as much. When they're brand new, it's kind of something that's new along the trail. That was bitten off right there. But for the most part, not a lot of damage. This was bitten and that was bitten. Biggest problem is when they bite off the growing tip, the apical Mary stem, and then it has to form a new one. Once they're taller than they want to browse on, the tree should be just fine. Okay, now we're up to number six. This one was in real bad shape. It had like real tiny leaves and stuff. This still looks kind of bad up here. So, yeah, when it was growing, I was thinking that I might just keep one of these. There's two trunks that have grown up alongside of this. That generally means that this is really sickly and it's trying to grow new growth. So I debated whether I should just keep one of these and get rid of both of the other ones. And I actually think that's what I might do. Then I'll end up with just this right here. But it has a big set of roots. And next year, this will probably grow at least two feet. Really quick, it'll catch up to the other trees. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, there you have it, down to a single trunk. The statistics are 39 inches tall, which is really close to the mother two. And we have 0.44 at a foot, less than a half inch, and a quarter inch at two feet. Now, this looks really nice and healthy. Hopefully this grows. I thought a couple of these trees were gonna die, especially this one. Hopefully, it's made a recovery now. Okay, now for number seven. I really don't know what to do with this one. It has two trunks coming out at the ground. This one has a branch down at the bottom, and then the rest of the stuff is way at the top. I believe this is the original tree, but I really can't remember this one here looks better. It's got a lot better shape to it, and it has some really good growth for a little tree like this. This is this year's growth right here, and it's about maybe eight inches. This top one is a good foot, and none of the stuff on this one grew that much this year. It had a good amount of leaves, but not a whole bunch of growth. And the trunk on this one is probably a third larger, maybe even more than that, than this one. So in the end, I think I'm gonna take this one out. I do not want a double tree here. What happens is the bark will grow together and it'll make a real weak point. And then at some point, one of the trees is going to fall over because they're, they'll try to get away from each other and kind of lean into a V 
and then disease can get into the wound. So in the end, I think I'm going to take this one out. Again, that is really painful to have to do that, but it really needs to be done for the health of the tree. <laughs> Timber. Okay, as painful as that was, we are left with a really nice looking little tree. Now I'll get the dimensions on this and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, number eight. This is a really, really nice tree. Kind of like the first one. It's nearly perfect in shape. It does have a little bit of crossing issues. I think I'm going to take out this upper branch right here because it's actually touching right there. And there's a little bit of touching right here. I'm going to take a little bit of that out, but otherwise the tree is beautiful. It's over my head, so I'm going to guess it's pushing seven feet tall and it has a pretty big trunk. All right, let's get the dimensions on this, do a little bit of pruning, and then we have another odd tree, but it looks like it's getting a bit better than it was. I am going to get rid of both of these crossing branches. Plenty of light coming in there now. And where's that other one? This right here. Just going to take this off back here. Beautiful. And I believe that is all I'm going to do with this. Okay, here's the stats on number eight. 80 and a half inches tall, which is the second tallest tree so far. 1.72 at a foot and 1.5 at two feet. Yeah, this is a really nice tree. All right, that's number nine right there. Let's go check it out. Look at all the stuff I've pruned off so far. I bring this with me and then I burn it just in case there's some kind of disease on it or something. You don't want it laying around. Another thing to note is the deer prints right here, right next to this tree. I don't see any damage on the tree though. But since we put this stuff up, we've had deer coming up right through here. We've had it a bunch of times now, so this must be a new route. I'm going to spray this tree. I think I'm going to go back and spray that one as well if the deer are coming right through here. But right here we have a very weird tree. It has very little side branching. When this was young, it was just like a stick. And then I believe it got this whole thing last year. But not a lot of side branching. And look at that just way up there with this single shoot. The majority of this is from this year. It probably grew a foot and a half this year up here. I'm not going to do any pruning to this. I'm just going to get the measurements and spray it and be done with it. Okay, the vital statistics. 89 inches tall. It was 55 last year. It was way down to here. This is where it started growing and it grew all that. And I've noticed these burr oaks, they'll grow like half of the growth for a year in the early part of the year. And then in the fall, grow another big chunk. So, yeah, that's real interesting. I have no idea why it's choosing to grow straight up like that instead of spreading out. It's right in the middle of a big open area, so you think it would get nice and spread out just like that tree. All right, now for number 10. Okay, number 10. This is a beautiful tree. Last year, I pruned off a water chute from right here. It came out and it went straight up. Cut it off right there. Let's see how that wound looks. There's the wound right there. It'll be completely covered up by the end of next year. We'll take a look at it next year as well. But I don't think there's anything to be pruned off of this tree. Very nice tree. Okay, and the stats for this tree are 95 inches tall, just one inch shorter than number one, 
1.7 inches at 1 foot and 1.7 inches at 2 feet. And kind of the reason for that is because this branch comes in right at 2 feet. But it is pretty symmetrical, pretty much way up to here. All right, I don't think I'm going to spray this one at all. We'll go on to number 11. Okay, we are on tree number 11. Actually have to move back a little bit to see the whole tree. It is 104 inches to the tip there and almost identical to that one. That one's a little bit downhill though, so this is probably the tallest one right there. This tree was bitten by the horses last year and it had some fairly severe damage. You can see what's left of it right there. Didn't grow a whole heck of a lot after that. That's probably about the same as last year, but some of these grew a lot. You know, every branch is not gonna grow a whole bunch every year. This is, oh, about 10 inches here, about eight inches there. This one grew probably a foot. Yeah, this one is doing really well. So they do come back from getting bitten on. It's just that when the top gets bitten off, it just sets the tree back a bit. And like I said last year, this one is by far the corkiest. This corky bark is a hallmark of burr oaks, but the other ones don't have it as much as this one. Look at that right there. And the corky bark, like this, helps it survive forest fires. So if a fire goes through here, and mostly burr oaks survive, that's how you get an oak savanna. The fire will kill most of this other stuff, and just the burr oaks and a few other trees will be left. And they'll get really big and shade out the other trees. Okay, what were the other dimensions? 1.9 and 2. And it was that way last year as well because it's corkier up here. So the corkier stuff is a bigger dimension. Okay, let's get on to the last tree. Okay, I got to step way back for this one. Still don't know if you could see the top there. This one is 112 inches tall, 2 inches at a foot, and 1.64 at 2 feet. This is a nearly perfect burr oak example. Look at that corkiness. It's not everywhere, but where it does have the corkiness, it's just beautiful. Look you at know, how tall that thing is. That's as high as I can reach. This tree grew 30 inches this year. That's pretty amazing. Hopefully it's going to do that again next year. Next year, I'm going to measure these tall ones a little different because I won't be able to reach them with a tape measure, but I'm not going to record them much longer than the next two years. I want to go five years. After five years, pretty much any tree that you plant should be on its own. It should be growing just fine by then. And I'm going to guess that this one in five years is probably, oh, it's probably going to be at least 13, 14 feet tall and pretty big around. Okay, this one really doesn't need any pruning except I think I'm going to take off. This is a water shoot right here. I think I'll just take that off right there and call it a day with this one. There's some weird stuff going on here, but no cause for concern. All right, last year I came and checked on the little tree that was growing along the edge here, and it's either gone or this is it. I don't think this is it though. I'll have to look in the spring and see if I can see the leaves of it, but I don't see any trunk there. It looks like it's gone. 
we'll go take a look at the other ones I'm not gonna do any measuring or anything like that but the ones along the road right there did pretty good this year and I think maybe I'll just grab the heights on those okay this is the fifth tree in the row along the road here so we just have number five here there's a bunch more of these scattered throughout the property and we're gonna look at those in the spring but I just want to get a height on these so this one is 29 inches and I have this tube around it because it's right next to these brambles and the rabbits will live in that stuff in the winter and they'll come out and girdle it or just eat the whole thing completely I sprayed this with deer repellent yesterday as well so this one's pretty well protected we'll just go through and get the rest of the heights Okay, here's all the heights for those trees along the road there. Um, the first one is doing terrible. Don't know if it's going to make it, but I thought that about some of these, and they're doing fine now. Some of these are kind of insane. 66 inches. I believe this one grew like 30 inches this year, just like this one right here. Oh no, it was the last one grew 30 inches. Pretty insane numbers, but... Two of them I have to go back and prune. Last thing I'm going to do today is put a little cover, this right here, on the American chestnut. So I think I'm just going to take this and my pruning shears just in case. And, ooh, and we'll head down and get that done real quick. I just pulled this out of the snow you could see that's from deer. Same there, same there. They bit that all off and then this part is broken. So my guess is during the rut, a uh, buck came through here and was rubbing on this and broke all these branches and he was biting on it as well. Damn, that sucks, but it'll recover. It's got a good top to it and hopefully next year it'll be a foot taller or so and I won't have to worry so much about this thing. This tree is about seven years old, and although it grew really fast after the damage, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot now. Okay, I got everything pruned off, and while I was doing that, I noticed this. This was broken down and kind of torn off. Yeah, this one, this one, and this one are all broken off. That's some pretty severe damage. I hope it makes it through this. If you're not aware, the American chestnut was hit by a blight. I think it was in the late 1800s or the early 1900s. It was about 100 years ago. And they've been working on a restoration version of the tree ever since. And that's what this is. This is a restoration chestnut from the American Chestnut Foundation. And I believe I said it, but I think I planted this seven years ago. Not doing all that well, but it's not doing bad either. If it can make it through a couple more years, I think it's going to make it just fine. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on it, but they used to call the American chestnut the redwood of the east. These things get massive, but you really wouldn't be able to tell from this one. Oh, there's a wild animal. That's my cat Maisie trying to show off. She wants to be on YouTube. Maisie, let's get back now. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for today. Next year, I'll be doing this again, and I'll probably do a brief video on the trees along the road there. I had to hurry up and finish this up. I got a lot of stuff to do today on this beautiful day. So, if you want to see that video or any of the videos coming up on our Post Frame Wood Shop, Make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.
There's Turkey biting the bugs off of Mark's feet. Boy, you're really pushing it, aren't you, Turkey? You know, they stepped on you earlier this year. Frankie just shooed her out of there. Good girl, Frankie.